Hey world, family in the garden. Then want to come back with another video. But I want to come back to this video because I just want to reiterate, pay yourself first, okay? Especially during this time, and I hope you paid yourself first, you know, in the, since the, in the last year or so, I've been talking about paying yourself first because see, now you understand why it was important because if you paid yourself first, then this whole inflationary situation that we're in right now is not going to be affecting you that much, okay? If you've just been spending, 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 and now the price of bread, a loaf of bread, is like damn near $4 a loaf, that's going to dip into your, into your change. Or if you have an adjustable rate mortgage and interest rates are going to go up four times this year, that's going to dip into your change. So I hope you paid yourself first, family. And I hope you look into uh, redistributing your 401k plans or 403Bs or 457s. Uh, because if you're contributing money to a pension plan or retirement plan, uh, a lot of the monies that's going to that particular plan is based off the stock market. And if a lot of your monies is going to companies that, quote unquote, Russia has you know, mad investments in or, or huge investments in, guess what? They done already sold. And so now the, the price of that stock is going to decrease. And they can't pay you dividends. They can't pay you money if the price of the stock of these companies that a majority of pension plans are based on is going to suffer. All right? So I would definitely probably try to redistribute some of your cash uh, especially if you are contributing to a 401k, I would probably want to, you know, probably halt that or talk to your, uh, financial advisor and see, you know, if you can change your strategies to, because right now, what's the mo what's going on right now that the market is pretty much blowing out the roof oil, the barrel oil right now is like $115 a barrel. It was like $45, $50 a barrel just three months ago. You dig? And so what, and since the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates every, you know, four times this year, that means the your money is going to lose value. Okay? So first, pay yourself first. If you got your money in banks, I would, I would definitely try to get your money out of the banks and put them in a the safe or whatnot because... Banks have this fraction of reserve that's 100%. And so if the market is crashing, banks are going to have to use more of your money that they that you have deposited to stay afloat. And they're also going to charge you more interest to have your money in their banks. So it's a it's a it's a it's a cash 22 situation. Right? All right? So pay yourself first. Look into it like I said a lot of you guys that have these the retirement plans, I would definitely try to reevaluate them because if they are, you know, this Russia Ukraine thing, which is ridiculous in itself, because one, United States ten percent of all the oil that comes to the United States comes from Russia. It's like six hundred thousand barrels comes from Russia, and at the same time, United States is sending money to help Ukraine. So how y'all financing both sides? It's hypocrisy. And if you don't know this, you fall into television, you have no clue of what's going on. And that's why the shit is phony. United States, you're buying oil from Russia, but then at the same time, you're sending money to Ukraine. In fact, if you don't know what's, what's going on, Ukraine used to be part of Russia or the Soviet Union, which is Russia now. The majority of that area is called Russia. The Soviet Union had a lot, all that area sold up. It was called the Soviet Union. If you remember Rocky IV with Drago versus Rocky, that's what it was. It was called the Soviet Union. I think in like 1991, 1992, the Ukraine, you know, gained its independence or said, you know what, well, we're sovereign now. We're not a part of the Soviet Union or Russia because when they when they uh, pretty much dismantled the Soviet Union, a lot of those, so, those smaller countries 
like, you know, Ukraine, uh, Chesnia, you know, Lithuania, you know, Czechoslovakia, a lot of those countries were basically sovereign. But Russia came back and got a lot of them. And all they're doing right now is trying to go back and get the Ukraine. A majority of the people that live in Ukraine are Russian anyway, right? And so I, I try to akin it to this. It's kind of like if you have any history in the United States, it's like Mexico saying, you know what? We're going to come back and get Texas because you're not, Mexico, you know, was pretty, Texas was part of Mexico until 1836. And so since 1836, it's been part of the United States. Well, this whole situation with Russia and Ukraine is like Mexico coming back and saying, hey, we're going to come back and get Texas. Well, you know that's not going to happen because the United States is not going to let it happen. Well, the difference is now instead of having the United States that's going to protect Texas, Ukraine have what they call NATO. And you got to ask yourself, why is the United States, why, why, why are they concerned with what happens over there? When you have so many different problems, I mean, inflation, this pandemic, immigration. We sending our soldiers to Russia and to Ukraine instead of sending them to the border to protect the border. We have the largest oil reserve in the, in the damn near in the world in Texas, but. We're not using the oil here. Just two years ago, the United States was the number one exporter in oil. Biden gets in office. He, cuts, he, he, he eliminates the Keystone Pipeline. He eliminates a lot of the oil drilling in Texas in the United States. And now the United States have to depend on oil from other countries, mainly Russia. You see what I'm talking about? It's bull. They have to have something to crash its economy. COVID didn't do it. This fake conflict between Russia and Ukraine will. But no one's talking about how China is going in Africa and pretty much just taking over. And it's, I, you know what? Do your research on what's going on in Africa. You think it's an accident that Africa is not asking the United States or Western uh, countries for help? China is pretty much sponsoring everything. It's kind of like how uh, England sponsored everything in the United States. Now you have everybody in the United States, you know, bound down to the queen. It's going to be the same thing that happened in Africa. Instead of bound down to the queen, they're going to be basically having, you know, loyalty to China because China is dropping so many billions and billions of dollars into infrastructure into Africa. No other country has ever done that. But we in the United States are sending all this money overseas to countries that doesn't benefit us and they're not even worried about what's happening over here. So we just had a primary elections. Of course, that don't mean shit because it's going to be the same old song. Pay yourself first, family. And my Afro-Ukrainians, my heart goes out to you because I've been watching the footage and they're not allowing you guys to leave the country but allowing everybody else. Isn't that crazy? But no one's, no Jay-Z or Michael Jordan or Oprah Winfrey, no one's going over to help the Afro-Ukrainians. But all Congress, all these people in America want to go help the Ukrainians. But why aren't the so-called African-Americans extending their resources to help tens of thousands of Afro-Ukrainians that's stuck in their country right now? It's ridiculous, family. Once again, pay yourself first. In the meantime, between time, many most high society bring you joy. And being what is out of 5,000.